So we're pretty excited that we did bring it here. We are doing another one. We're going to start it in March in Cherokee County. We're going to hopefully keep it going as something good as a community can look at that we are trying to make a difference in the obesity around here. Um, they have worked so hard. They have cried. They have laughed. They've almost passed out. <laughs> um, fitness classes. I know some friends have been at some of the fitness classes. It's been great. Jasper Fitness was great enough to let us use them. Um, we are going to announce the winner tonight. It is pretty great because none of us knew. It has been shocking. Everybody has been calling, asking, and we don't know. We are deciding right now who wins. We're about to bring them out, and once we bring them out, we're going to let everybody know. Um, but they don't know either. They don't even know what they weigh. We hid it from them. <laughs> so they're patiently waiting back there, but I'm going to bring them forward. Mary's got um, some photo things that we're going to put out where you can look. We're going to have a table where you can sign up if you want to sign up for the next one. And we'll hook it up on the computer where you can see the video and photos of all the things that they've done. So without further ado, I'm going to go back and get them and bring them out, okay? Here we go. All right, well, welcome everybody. Thank you for coming for these wonderful 12 hardworking contestants. Uh, I'm very proud of these guys. Uh, it has been hard, challenging 12 weeks, and uh, they have all done extremely well. I've done this weight loss for a while, and we have a certain number in mind that we thought we we're going to have uh, as a group weight loss and these guys have exceeded it which is very very impressive so give everybody a round of applause here it has been hard it is a very very challenging thing um, unless you go through this thing i think none of us can really really understand the psychological and physical implication that all this we have to endure but these guys have done very well with it. They've stuck to it. And my one thing that I want to get out of this entire process is that they stay with it. They keep what they have achieved here in 12 weeks and continue to use it for life, pass it along to all the friends and family, and really, really take this message to every single person in the community they encounter that could use this help because I'm sure you all are aware that this is one of the most sort of aggressive and psychological and physically debilitating diseases or processes that we all encounter. And it sort of leads to everything else in medicine. And the reason why we all started this thing is because we were tired of putting up fires that, without handling the reason for the acute fire. And I'm really, really glad these guys are able to address this and get a really good handle on it. I participated in the last challenge with them this past weekend, and I was amazed that I couldn't keep up with half of them. <laughs> they were all running, and they finished the whole challenge, and I was still trying to figure out where they all went. And I was like, hey, what happened? Compared to, you know, on the first day when we started the whole walk in at Gibbs Garden and everybody had a you know challenging time trying to even just finish the entire walk so they have come a long way people take years to do what they've done in 12 weeks so this is an extremely impressive uh, achievement every single one of you have done you are such amazing athletes and people and workers and parents everything else uh, I'm very very extremely proud of you all and you are role models to this community. And as we're going to do this in March in potentially in Cherokee County, I would like for you all to aid in stimulating the next group that gets involved with something like this and to see, hey, it can be done. You guys are the first to achieve this. So you didn't really have that kind of an aid or role model or an example person. but. We would like for you to volunteer 
or I'm paying you whatever it takes for <laughs> me to be able to... We're talking that. candy, bro. We're talking Whatever it takes to get those guys motivated. And then it's one of those sort of almost like pay it forward. You got to pass it along. Look, it can be done. You guys are real people. And that's what I told the Pickens Progress people. I'm like, they wanted a few words from us, you know, about the whole challenge. And I said, real people, this is the real community. This is not some made-up pictures that sometimes you see before and after pictures in magazines. These are your community people. And this is community hard work with the whole family and friends, everybody kind of contributing to, you know, their success. So it's, it's, um, I'm extremely proud of what you've done. And you see, we have had almost 6,000 pounds of weight loss in our weight loss center, but it's nothing like this. This is, you know, hard work in a short amount of time with learning the right habits, learning the right decisions, and, and I think you guys are all going to keep it for the rest of life. I don't care who wins this thing, who doesn't. Every single person is a winner here. Because what you're taking the message home and all you have learned in the last 12 weeks. I thank you all. So we'll go, I mean, we, as we had put together in the beginning, we said this is a challenge and we're going to go through the whole process of eliminating and sort of climbing up to a winner, but that doesn't really mean anything. I think every single one of you is a winner because you went through the whole process, you learned a lot, and that's what it counts. You know, whether you lost more in that block of time, or, um, but if you learn what to do, you're going to continue losing if you haven't achieved the goal yet. So we'll go through the process of um, awarding Hi. number one, number two, number three. We have some uh, cool prices to pass along. But I think, as I said, every single one of you is a winner. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be giving out the runners-up first, and then we'll be giving out to the winners. This is for Donna Grantham. You have come so much. <laughs> That's amazing. And Donna lost 28 pounds in eight weeks. We're really proud of them. Any questions or comments from the family and friends regarding everybody here? Yeah, what'd you do with the rest of our wife? <laughs> <laughs> it's something that neither you or she will miss. <laughs> Gone forever. You believe it's the equivalent of her and her sister almost? Yeah, I mean, if you try to put this in perspective, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, you think about it, you know, a newborn, a one-year-old, two-year-old kid. I mean, some people have lost 40, 45 pounds. That's like carrying a five-year-old on, on your back all day, every day. So all your joints and tendons and ligaments, everything gets a little more work done. You know, now it's relieved of all that extra workload. But everything in our body has got a mileage. Everything is going to wear out. If you use it up too quickly, carrying too much weight, it's not going to last that long. So it's very important. Leslie Coker, she lost 33 pounds. And Jack Owen B. He lost 40 pounds in 12 weeks. Amazing. Who's excited? Who's really excited? Because we're right down to the bottom four. Are you guys freaking out? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's one of those things like 40 pounds, you think about the number, but these guys have been in the gym, working out, lifting weights, uh, building Super. muscles. So <laughs> the muscle is not counted in here. So there is a potential of 50 pounds of fat and gaining 10 pounds of muscle. 
you got to keep that in mind. The body is a lot healthier than where it started. It's not just a total pound loss uh, for a lot of people that build muscles. The muscles go a long way. They're going to help you with your metabolism and, in general, keep you healthier. So we're really, really proud. Yeah, I think Jack's probably put on about 25 pounds of muscle. Yeah. All right, Jack. He's lifting more weight than me in the classes. <laughs> Jack has been very good. You have um, been an athlete from the very beginning. So we just got a few left. I'm going to see what the order, ranking order is going to be for you guys. But it doesn't matter. As I said, you guys have all done well. And I was amazed how well you guys all work together as a team. I mean, with the, most of those challenges, the person finished, went back and made sure the rest of the people finished. It's very impressive teamwork and support for everybody. It's been very, very good. Her last runner up, Tanya Dutton. She lost 35 pounds in 12 weeks. Yay. So, as you guys know, our percentages is what we went by for the challenge. Figured that it would be almost the best way to do it where it was fair for everybody and um, it's pretty exciting how well they did one of the contestants that is in the final group was one of the biggest ones and lost the most weight it was amazing how well he has done so without further ado I'm gonna go third second then first place all right coming in third place is Joseph White. Is this a Porsche? Yes. Shake it real hard, don't be keys in there. And then in second place is Lee Green. stood by each other. We've been carried. We have been pushed to our limits. We have some really hard cheerleaders and we have some really happy cheerleaders <laughs> and we have some great motivators. They have been awesome through this whole thing. They haven't stopped. <coughs> Even after being eliminated, they kept going. They kept cheering each other on. They kept standing by each other. It is amazing. Each single person here has tried their best to do it for themselves. It has not been about the challenge. It has been about being healthy and being happy with the way that they want to be. This is all we want for our whole community is to see that we can be happy and not overweight. <laughs> we can make healthy decisions and still eat things that we like. And we can be happy that way. I want everybody to realize how hard they've worked because they deserve praise. They deserve so much praise from everyone. They they mean a lot to me. I think they're just the greatest thing. I put them in my pocket now because they'll fit. <laughs> but as a family, you should always stand by how well they've been because it's hard. There is a biscuit on every table I've ever seen when I go to any event. And these people pass them up. They walk by them. It's, it's Christmas time. It's Thanksgiving. They lost weight. Birthday cake. Some people try to sabotage with birthday cake. Hey. No. That was her. Oh, he blamed it on <laughs> Don't they look amazing? They look like half themselves when they started. Their shirts don't even fit. I know. That taking them shopping was the best thing ever because they picked something I can't wear. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Putting on something. If you saw the pants they began in, they were like out of here. And everybody was just, you know, it's just the best thing. And I'm hoping that everybody can see that 
we're going to make a difference. And that's all we want to do is make a difference. And hopefully this goes on with kids and families because we want it to make a change. So let's give them a big hand of applause for all the <laughs>